the, well, you know what? I'm late again. And all I can say is I have a really good reason. And that is because I literally go through each and every one of your lines, probably at least five to six, at least times. And then I am seeing which ones really go together and which ones stand alone and um, could have its own, just be its own uh, submission winner for the day. But it just turns out that when you when you have a sometimes when you're writing a poem when you have a strong line to make it work meaning wise but the line is a really important direction you got to fit other lines around it and so it's all about what will make the whole piece sound the best so it's definitely you've got so many great one liners right but the way this works is what's the best line what's the best next line for the overall piece and so you might have this goodness gracious this line is just killer but then is it the best next line necessarily for the piece so sometimes um I just can't you know incorporate just one because the next line is sometimes after another line <laughs> oh god am I even making sense I mean does any of this make sense all right well, I tend to get way into it. I, I, it's just the way it is sometimes with me. So just know that um, it isn't hookus that's taking their sweet time. And I'm not taking my sweet time either. I'm taking some hard, definitely diligent, important time with your work. Okay. So with that said, and of course my hair coming out of its shindig, this thing, I tell you, always it's drama. Okay. So, now that we've gotten through all of that, let's get into reading our lines, shall we? So, um, let's just start from the beginning, where we were, and then I'm going to continue on, and then I'll go through my runner-ups, and then we'll come back and see who these winners were and list them by name. How's that? Okay. Notice me. My wall of ice melts easily, and somehow... I can't utter a sound. I'm muted, and my anxiety is profound. You see that mime in the box? Yeah, that's me. But not only am I silenced, this mime is not seen. But a tiny radiance from a distant place can change how I feel from the look on my face. I can feel its warmth reaching places that I haven't seen or felt in ages. I dance slowly around this inner sun, my power is within, but I'm spellbound from a smile, catched up by a glance, with a sudden move from alive into a trance. Is that light through my pinhole just a mirage or a miracle healing for self-sabotage? Look at that. I mean, I, I thought you guys did an amazing job. These are four people. You got four winners. And um, I love the fact because it's a poem, we're able to, um, you know, have more participation when it comes to the winning lines. And I just love you guys. So with that said, I'm going to go to some of the runner-ups. I'm going to list you guys. And then from there, um, let me see here. Uh, from there, we are going to get to the names of these, uh, the writers of these little masterpieces that we have here. Okay, I just did something. Come on, Yashi. All right, there we go. I hope that, oh, I don't know. What did I just do? Okay. <laughs> oh, technology. Okay, so Wolf. Wolf, 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 <laughs> wolf. Um, I like this line that you sent because it was very specific. It was direct. And I like it when we get that sometimes. We always need those, nine, those lines that tie things together that are general, that are um, very expansive, I like to say. And then you need those very definitive, very laser lines as well. Um, and I uh, just love this, and I want you to continue to submit. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Um, look at me. 
My hand reaches out desperately. Reach for it. Grab it. Hold it. Before I fade away. This beautiful. Let me read, let me read that again. Look at me. My hand reaches out desperately. Reach for it. Grab it. Hold it. Before I fade away. I loved it. Thank you so much. This was one of the ones I, I wanted to use, and uh, we're definitely going to work with your work, I know, again. So just continue to submit. Um, another line that I loved. Um, Tyke, you just keep coming with it, man. I mean, you're just so like, boom. Like, you, your name should be tight instead of Tyke because your lines are just so Boom. So anyways, <laughs> I hide behind my mask of disinterest. I'm safe here. It's the simplest. I mean, really? I mean, that's just like, I love it. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, what's another one? G.T. Edwards. I love this line. Thank you so much. Like a flower in the warmth of the sun, I awaken. No longer alone, forgotten, forsaken. Nice. Let me read that again. Like a flower in the warmth of the sun, I awaken. No longer alone, forgotten, forsaken. Good stuff. Good, 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 good. All oh, good, good, good. So let's get to the winners. And I'm going to list you uh, individually first. Catherine Samova, yay, yay, yay. You have a line in here. Um, is that light through my mint? through my pinhole just a mirage or a miracle healing for self-sabotage this was very cool um and i love i think um it was specific enough but then at the same time it really played off the earlier lines so good job uh another one joe stylus I really liked this because this was actually the line that I wanted to build around. I wanted to build around it because you went with a whole different idea that I definitely wanted to touch on because this is a poem about mental health. Um, we're talking about individuals needing to reach out and that are in pain and then individuals that are witnessing emotional suffering, uh, how do they draw somebody in? But then once that connection is made, it's really just a reminder why I'm looking over here. <laughs> it's really just a reminder of our inner, inner word, of our inner power. So your line was, I dance slowly around this inner sun. My power is within. And there couldn't be, there couldn't be a statement that's more truer than that. Um, so thank you for that line. And that was one of the ones that kind of made all these other lines so amazing. And also the reason why um, we were able to work with them and they were the best lines all together so i dance slowly around this inner sun my power is within awesome thank you joe stylus and uh candace j 1983 your line i can feel its warmth reaching places that i haven't seen or felt in ages this line i don't think there's a soul out there that can not identify with it this was beautiful it was very apropos to the topic, and I think we've all had those moments where we are reminded because of someone's presence of um, the good old days or deja vu or things that have happened in the past, and they're able to rekindle something within us, and that's that's so that's a special thing. And it can be a stranger that does this. It can be, um, you know, someone that we haven't seen or someone close by, whatever it is. But this is something I think everybody can relate to. And that's why I really loved it. And then uh, let's see, the last one is Pecky Pop. You have done it again. You have another one in in our piece. Yay. Uh, spellbound from a smile or catched up by a glance. With a sudden move from a live into a trance. Goodness, I love that. Once again, spellbound from a smile or catched up by a glance. With a sudden move from a live into a trance. So this was great stuff. Um, what I like about this is that it's mysterious. Um, and it's... Um, it makes us wonder, 
it's imaginative. I like to go into that space all the time. So you brought that part. You 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 kind of hit a personal kind of a nerve in me. Where I love that going into the ethereal and the uh, unknown kind of a space. So this was great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This was cool. Uh, so what does this all sound like together? Notice me. My wall of ice melts easily. And somehow I can't utter a sound. I'm muted. My anxiety is profound. You see that mime in the box? Yeah, that's me. But not only am I silenced, this mime is not seen. But a tiny radiance from a distant place can change how I feel and the look on my face. I can feel its warmth reaching places that I haven't seen or felt in ages. I dance slowly around this inner sun. My power is within. And I'm spellbound from a smile. I'm catched up by a glance with a sudden move from alive into a trance. Is that light through my pinhole just a mirage or a miracle healing for self-sabotage? Deep stuff. Yes, we got some deep stuff, but it's good stuff. And I just want to, again, thank all of you guys for these words, for uh, being a part of this campaign to support Change Direction and Get Lit. And now Project Return Peer Support Network as well, which I'll talk to you more about that. But um, just thank you so much. And I want to thank cookies.com with being so generous with uh, the proceeds in this particular campaign. It's really been awesome. Um, some tips. Um, I want to also encourage you guys, don't forget to write from the viewpoint of the person who's wanting to reach out and maybe doesn't know how to, or um, maybe they do know how to, but from the angle of the person who is observing the emotions. Um, I wrote something that might just give you a little bit of an idea, and um, there you are, wilted rose, no water to quench its thirst, barely standing so barren, no soil to nurture your worth. I'd bring the heavens to its knees just to comfort you. I'd share you with my universe and infinite flowers will bloom. <laughs> That's kind of a nursery rhyme. But also, it, it gives you a little bit of an idea of how you could you know, go from the other viewpoint. So don't forget that. It'll help open up your imagination a little bit. Also think about the use of commas, semicolons, pauses, and effects. So when you are writing, just make sure um, when you, this is more so, because I can kind of intuit these things because of writing poetry, but for um, your peers that are looking at your lines, when you put a comma or when you, um, semicolon, when you, when those are in the right places and the right breaks, it brings out the intensity of the line and it makes the line even that more powerful. Just something to think about. And, um, what else? What else? Uh, if you have lines that you may not think are worthy of a submission, but you still want to have conversation around it or whatever, um, use it in the conversation comments area, the Facebook. So that area where we have a conversation, put some lines that you may not, may not want to submit, but you want to still share with us, please do so. Anybody can submit in there. You, um, just, Definitely. Uh, try your skills if you want. <laughs> um, what else? What else? What else? Um, repeating words. Just be conscious of any, you know, if we use a previous word already like box or um, ice or something like that, just be very conscious of how you use it if you want to use it again because we have already used it. I like to not so much repeat words when it comes to stanzas. I like to keep it fresh. Um, and if we do, it's usually going to be a thematic type of a repetition, um, a reoccurring line kind of a thing uh, that is repeated or a word that makes it like there's a reason for it. But other than that, um, just be cautious of it because I might tend to skip over it just for that one little reason and I don't want to do that. So um, think about the lines that have already been used in the poem and the words and definitely it's all about keeping it fresh and keeping it new. And uh, go to changedirection.org, go to Get Lit, and learn more about these foundations that this amazing project is supporting. Uh, the theme, again, Reach Out and Touch, talking about emotional pain, and uh, those experiencing or those witnessing 
how can we draw all of this together? And uh, just thank you so much. And I'm sure I'm missing something like I'm always doing, but uh, whatever. Um, we will be together probably this coming Thursday, but we might take the day off. We might just resume it next Monday. I'll think about it. You'll be getting a newsletter from Hocus.com either way. All right. Have a great rest of the week, and we'll chat soon. Bye. <laughs>